Okay, I'm doing an addition to yesterday's video because the globies got confused because I only took the angle from this instead of the whole top. The bottom two stories, the top four stories, and I'm going to show why the bottom two stories will diminish in size quicker than the top four. So anyhow, this is a this is a right angle, so it's a 90 degree angle in total from this to this from here. This right here is also a 45 degree angle. This is from the surface, the vertex to the angle to the observer. That plays a part in what I call compression and RC effect later. Okay, now I moved, instead of from the observer being here where it was 90 degrees, I moved it down here. Now the vertex here is 17 and a half. So my angle has drastically changed at the vertex. It's gotten from big to very small quickly. It's kind of like a parallax type thing because you're closer to all this because you're at this more at this level it's going to change quicker than what the four stories up here will when I do this I'll start out those with the angle to this and then I'll put it out to the angle to here and ultimately when I do all this that angle at the vertex will be bigger than this one oh, and by the way when I moved it out this vertex changed to about seven degrees. So my angle over the surface is becoming more and more narrow. These two stories are being seen in an increasingly narrow area of your vision, of your field of view. That's, what, that's why when it gets narrower, you'll see it more towards the middle of your vision and it's more compressed. It's, that's why the bottom will seem to rise up because this, if you go from here, it's rising. It's, it'll be going up. And the same here, it'll be going down, pushing that, making that look diminished and squished in the distance. Okay, now I've got the entire top is gonna to be in my angle. This right here at the vertex is 35 degrees. It's a 35 degree angle. Now my angle for the bottom one, remember, was 90 degrees, much bigger. This is much narrower. Well, anyhow, my angle from here to the surface is, uh, what was it again, 15 degrees. It was 15 degrees. So this is going to come out. It's going to become wider. This is gonna become narrower, but not by near as much as what my bottom did when I stretched it out. And now I'll show you. Okay, this angle at the vertex went from 15 to 55 degrees. So it got much larger. You have a better angle to see more surface area here. It's not compressed or foreshortened anymore. See, when it was closer, I call that angular compression, but we'll call it foreshortening. So I'm reversing the foreshortening effect by moving further away. It was way more foreshortened when it was close. Now it's way less and I can see a much more bigger picture up here. Now, even though this is moving further away, I still see more. And this is wider than the one I had down here because this one is 28 degrees. The one I had at the bottom was, turned out to be 17 and a half degrees at here. So the bottom angle is smaller than the top. I know they all got it wrong last night because they were just looking at my angle from here to here, which isn't the whole top. It's only a portion at the top top as soon as I move it down here, 
this is what you actually see for the whole thing. So this is what I end up with. Bottom one went from a super wide 90 degree angle down to 17 and a half. This one went from a uh, 35 degree angle to a 28 degree angle. But this part went from a 15 to a 55 because I reversed the foreshortening effect that I had here by going out further, which compensated for some of this becoming less because it couldn't become too much less, but it's still much bigger than this one. And if you continue that out, it'll just stay the same. It'll keep doing the same thing. The bottom will keep getting smaller and smaller and it'll always stay smaller than the top. And because this gets narrower and narrower, it's going to eventually look like it's squished together. Because remember, here was my eye line. Everything is going to squish towards those but in your real perspective. So anyhow, I was right last night. Everybody else was wrong. <laughs>